He just had the uh, shoulder pulled up after uh, the internet and how good uh, he was ready to take a town in on, uh, on Saturday. Uh, yeah, I was definitely ready. Um, the shoulder felt fine after the game. Um, and uh, I was just excited to be back out there. Davis, talk about how difficult it was just to, to not be playing through those early weeks um, and kind of how you kind of kept yourself mentally prepared when, for when you could go back in. Uh, it was very hard. Just, you know, it being my senior year, um, every game is, is special to me. So uh, it, was, it was very hard watching, you know, watching the guys play and just knowing how bad I wanted to be out there. And, um, you know, I just kind of just stayed focused, you know, off the field. Um, while I wasn't playing, I just made sure I kept doing what I had to do as far as my shoulder getting better uh, to make sure I was ready when I came back. How much are you guys both to be motivated to, to beat a team that you haven't beaten yet in conference play in Southern Miss? I think we're very motivated. Um, you know, since I've been I, I've been here, we haven't beat them yet. So, uh, you know, just for me and just overall as a team, and uh, you know, we just we just know we got to go out there and just get this win. Um, I got hit last year, so I just, this is my second time playing them, but. As far as last year, we had a chance to beat them. Um, came close, but <clears throat> I'd like to leave here with a, with a win over Southern Miss. But they're, they're a great team, so we got to take care of them on uh, Saturday. It's kind of you know stood out about those guys. I know they're 0 and 5. They've traditionally been a good team, so that's a bit of an, of an anomaly this year. What kind of stands out as you, you look at Southern Miss on film? They're a great team. Um, I look at them on film. They have a good offensive line, great backs, a good quarterback. So. Um, 0-5, oh, that doesn't really mean anything. We got, we got to come out and play like I guess another game. And from the defense, uh, you know, they have a, a lot of athletes and, uh, you know, kind of almost all of their secondary uh, coming back. So, uh, you know, we just can't take them lightly. And uh, we got to go out there and, you know, play hard every week, just like we have been doing and practicing hard and, and get the win. So they definitely look better than what you would say an 0-5 oh, team oh, would be. Definitely, yeah. most definitely. Cam, can you talk to us about the secondary, what you've seen from – your unit this year, how you've grown the, the kind of the good and the bad? Um, secondary? Yeah. Or sorry, from, can you talk about the defense in general, sorry, oh, um, and just about the what you've seen as a unit them grown? Um, as a unit, I think, I think we're doing good. We could be better, but I mean, you get, you get better every game. Uh, we could do a, a lot of stuff better, but that's, that's football. I mean, you make mistakes, so you got to get better every week. You guys have rotated guys in on the line. Um, what are you seeing, you know, that impact? It looks like there's been more of a push, especially on the inside. Um, we have two packages, a uh, rest package and uh, uh, I'm saying like a, a base package. So on third down, I come in, uh, we go spark up the uh, passers. Uh, EJ comes in on base, so we just have a good rotation going right now. It's working for us, so we just got to keep uh, keep it going. Latavius, can you talk a little bit about the running back rotation now that you're back in there on how you guys can kind of complement each other? Um, well, you know, we got a great uh, group of running backs and, uh, you know, every day in practice, you know, pushing each other and working hard and, you know, in the games, uh, you know, everybody kind of wants their chance to go out there and, and prove what they can do. So uh, it's been a lot of competition and I think everybody's had gotten better because of that. And uh, I think it's just a great thing to have. Coach Tapp was talking about being able to put in the two running back um, formation again. What, what does that do for this offense? What do you think you guys can do out of that that you maybe haven't been able to do while you've been out? Um, I think it's very dangerous just the fact that, uh, you know, the defense has to stop, you know, now two uh, two running backs in the backfield and, you know, they maybe have to worry about either whether we're going to run or worry, worry about a back coming out the backfield and catching the ball and being able to, you know, run in open space. So um, Coach Taft's done a good job of working us all in there and, and trying to use all the uh, running backs that he has and just get us all on the field at one time so we can be a, a dangerous offense. Cam, can you talk about um, the depth that you guys have on the defensive line this year? You have a couple young guys, Thomas Niles, Deion Green, coming in and making contributions. How important is that to have guys that can rotate in and out? It's, it's big. I mean, um, if you're out there for a season, some play straight, you're not going to be as fresh as you want to be. So Thomas, he's a freshman. He didn't play like that, but he's he play, he playing like a senior right now. He's playing good football. Deion, he's a pass rush guy. He comes in on third down. And he, he just produces. So both those guys are doing a great job. We, we've been very pleased with them. What they bring to the table. Does it have a big impact when you're rotating just different guys in there as far as energy and, and how fresh you feel uh, during the game? Uh, of course. Um, like I said, you can't, you go a 10 play job, you're not going to be as fresh as when you go in there for, say, two or three plays. So, me getting enough fresh, that, that's, that's provided me, I can make, go out there and make plays instead of, don't worry about being tired. So, if 
being Dion going there, we gotta make something happen. Tommy's going there, which he is, he's doing a good job. So as a whole we're doing we're doing a great job, but just uh just uh sticking with what we do, we know how to do. Uh, this is for Latavius or Cam. Um, you guys have quite a bit of kids on the roster that are from this area. And I'm wondering, do you hear any of your teammates ever talking about playing at you know, playing for their hometown city? Do you see their excitement? Um well it, I guess the fact that uh, you know, we have a lot of games of uh, players from this area uh, and just from around here, I mean, you know, every every day they want to go out there and just pl play for, I guess, their hometown or just knowing folks come to come see them play that, uh, you know, that they're familiar with. But uh, I think for the most part, you know, we just try to go out there and just, and I guess, just play, play, play to win. And, and, you know, the support we do get from our family or people that's from around us, Take that in very well. Take it.